Well, good Tuesday morning, everybody. Spring break is over. Time to go back to work. Rob here in Bakersfield, California, on the 2013 Sportster 72. Today is the anniversary of my death. This is the time of the year that my PTSD flares up. I suffer from a little depression, survivor's guilt. Back in 1979, I was a young police officer slash EMT. I was assigned to the police ambulance. Yes, we had police ambulances. And on that Monday morning, on January 29th, as I was uh, getting ready to head out of the downtown Central Station, I had a radio call coming out over, saying that there's shooting going on out at the Cleveland Elementary School on the east border of San Diego. And we went running down the main hallway the reason we were running down the main hallway is because as we were going along, we could hear bullets passing up by our heads and ricocheting off the walls. So yeah, we were being shot at as we were going down the hallway. We got down to the end of the hallway where a bunch of school kids were all huddled with a teacher behind a chain link fence area that was covered with ivy. And you can still hear the damn bullets coming through the ivy and Stuff, so my partner and I started getting all the kids into a classroom right there along with the teacher as we were doing that I looked out to my right into the parking lot and I saw two adult males laying on the ground not moving and I saw that police officer laying out there in the middle of the ground not moving so I turned to my partner and I told him I'm going out there to see what I can do to help him. Before he could say anything, I grabbed the first aid kit, ran down the steps, headed for the parking lot. There was a little planter area there with a big tree in it, and that's where I was going to go. But it just so happened at the same time I was heading for that tree, a female officer who had arrived on the scene from the other side was heading for that same tree. There was only room for one of us. So I let her have the tree. And I just dove for cover down on the ground. That fateful shot happened. I got hit right in the right side of the neck. At the time I didn't know it, I thought I'd just been grazed. But, in actuality, the bullet had gone into my neck, nicked my carotid artery, bounced off my shoulder blade, and lodged against my fifth thoracic vertebrae. Well, it took me a few seconds, but I shook it off. I went back to work, trying to patch people up. Hi everybody, Rob here in Bakersfield, California. Sitting out on the back patio by the pool. Just wanted to give you an update on the surgery. And I will go over the good parts first. Okay. The uh, surgery went really well. As you know, it was uh, three parts. 
There is the uh, trigger finger, the uh, carpal tunnel, and the ulnar nerve relief. Now the surgeon thinks that the uh, carpal tunnel and the figure trigger are probably a hundred percent. Good morning everybody. This is Rob here out on the back patio in Bakersfield, California. I know it's been a while since I've been on YouTube or Facebook or been at work. And a lot of you have been wondering what happened. And uh, I guess I just jumped right to it. About a month ago I got sick. Thought it was just the stomach flu. Went to the doctors and got some tests done. And they thought or suspected that I had cancer. So they brought me in and started doing a bunch of tests. And uh, as it turned out, I have got stage four terminal cancer in the pancreas that has spread to the liver. And uh, it's not curable. They can treat it to prolong my life, but they can't cure it. So in the past month here, I've had to go into the hospital several times. I've had to have uh, my gallbladder removed. I've had to be hooked up to IVs and force fed to keep me alive. And it's been a pretty rough rough situation. I had to abruptly quit work. So I know everybody at work, they have no idea what the heck happened to me. I just up and disappeared. Yeah, same with all of you on the YouTube. You have no idea what's been going on. And this is actually the first day that I've felt good enough to be up out of bed and actually try to record you a message. So what's up next for me is I'm going to be getting chemotherapy and radiation and trying to slow the progression of the cancer and extend my life by a few months and if all goes well I'll get more than that six months that they're predicting maybe even get as much as a year I want to thank all of you ahead of time for all your well wishes and thoughts and prayers I want to thank all of you for being my friends and viewers over the years and thank all of my co-workers and students for being there and don't expect to see a whole lot from me in the future I will try to at least get on once a week and respond to comments and such but don't expect a bunch of videos and don't expect to see me riding the motorcycle in the future. Well, that's it for now. This is Rob saying bye-bye.